youth workers play an important role in schools all across Europe, but particularly in Estonia. What is it like in Australia? Do youth workers have any role in Australian school system? And what is the role? Is it prestigious to be a youth worker in Australia? I did my PhD specifically on the role of youth workers in schools in, uh, in Australia. There are certainly uh, a lot of people working in schools in non-teaching roles uh, in Australia, whether they be social workers, psychologists, health professionals, nurses, school dentist, doctor. So we've um, found ourselves with a lot of youth workers in schools, either employed uh, by the education department or by the school itself or the school council um, or by an agency, a welfare agency, um, that places the youth worker in the school for a period of time as part of their role in the local community. They may work um, in behavioural programs, in inverted commas, they may work in, uh, in a range of kind of non-formal education activities, drug and alcohol education, sex education. Um, they may work specifically with disadvantaged and at-risk young people, uh, people at risk of homelessness. Um, or uh, they may work in job placement or employment pathway programs. What I found was though that youth workers by and large, although they're paid to do a range of things, essentially will work in a way that's consistent with their youth work frame of practice. That is that the youth, the, the young person is essential, primary to their, to their, uh, to their role. Um, it's their primary consideration and that they're working to empower young people and to achieve human rights for young people. Often youth workers are working as advocates in schools on behalf of young people who have a limited voice in the context of the school. And what I found in the context of interviewing a number of youth workers was that some had in fact gone on and done a diploma of education and now taught English or social sciences or not usually maths but <laughs> <laughs> there may be some youth workers that teach maths, but not necessarily because they wouldn't have done it in their undergraduate degree. So there was lots of kind of anecdotes or stories of youth workers, you know, being kicked out of staff rooms because they didn't look like teachers, the clothes they wore, their hairstyles, etc. Um, or of a youth worker, you know, sitting with a group of young people in the, uh, in the grounds of the school during recess or lunchtime and, uh, and again, being questioned about why they were there, were they a student, were they not, why were they in the school, and then being asked to leave. Um, even though they were actually an employee, <laughs> people, uh, teacher, you know, on yard duty or whatever, not being able to kind of understand or comprehend um, the, the role of the youth worker and that their boundaries, that is the way they related to young people, were very different to teachers. So when the youth worker would advocate on behalf of the young person, um, the school wasn't quite sure what to do with that. For example, um, youth workers would say that um, when a young person was asked to leave the school, often through behavioural or other issues, um, and the young person asked the youth worker to advocate on their behalf um, to the school administration, to the principal, to uh, express the view that they didn't want to leave the school, that they didn't think leaving the school would be in their best interests. Um, schools found that hard to deal with, found that quite difficult. Um, and youth workers, of course, um, seeing the young person as their primary client, um, then had to make a choice between advocating on behalf of the young person or fulfilling uh, you know, the, the kind of the objective of the school at this point, which was to move the young person out of the school. If you don't have a qualification in education, you can't teach. But having a qualification in education doesn't qualify you to be a youth worker. They're quite different professional vocations which have different skill sets and different value bases that underpin them. And I think that's true for a whole range of human service qualifications. And that's quite important, I think. The identity and level of qualification of youth work um, must be more firmly established, and particularly in the minds of employers. I think it's a very important one, and sometimes I think it's possibly um, 
underrated, but uh, it's a marvellous profession. It gets to work with young people on some very critical uh, and difficult problems that they face, that or that they find themselves into, and I think the um, the uh, the image of the youth worker is uh, sometimes there's some uh, um, you know funny images of the youth worker and, the, and things like that, but I think it's a fantastic profession, and I think it's steeped in rewards. You you wouldn't find a profession. Um, uh, where you have the privilege of sort of one working with young people going into their their world, um, uh, being a significant adult in that world to say to um, not only care for them but provide um, uh, you know that that input from your view about maybe how they can actually um, journey through that world. So I think sometimes it's it's felt that it's a um, it's, it's got a, a different image to it, but I've always seen it as um, uh, a, 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 you know, a prestigious, to use your term, profession, and one that if you're in it, you should be uh, not only proud about, I but I reckon your families are proud about, and that um, uh, because it's, it brings a lot of ex professional excitement. Youth work is a, is a fantastic profession. It's sometimes um, either misunderstood or undervalued, and where in fact actually it's it's full of riches yeah um, and um, and rewarding experiences that a that a professional is, is looking for but also it it has that uh, not only that edge but that aspect to it in which um, uh, you know I think uh, you know the youth workers I've met just epitomize that and um, no it sometimes gets into I think the profession gets into some self self doubt about itself or it has not a crisis of confidence, but just an underlying theme that of of um, you know, um, you know we, we see the social workers, if we see the psychologists, are we really professionals as well as youth worker? It seems to be always in that debate. But you know, be proud. You know, youth workers, youth workers should be proud because they do a fantastic job.